Hi everyone, I'm here at BTYC today in Donvale in Victoria. It was great to catch up with Jess, the club manager this morning, to hear about all the challenges and opportunities she has in her club in Victoria. And with National Clubs Carnival wrapping up last week, I wanted to take the opportunity to reach out and provide another update as we enter into the last busy months of the year. It was wonderful to see so many of you on the Gold Coast. We had over 3,000 participants from clubs across the country competing at the event. This year we welcomed participants from Special Olympics Australia, who competed in an integrated competition for the first time. The pure joy and happiness that was on each of their faces was truly something special. That along with the Gymnastics for All participants, who were able to compete at a national level for the first time in three years. I hope you will all agree with me that the event really encapsulates what our sport's all about, fun, fitness and friendship. What I did see at the event was a strong, vibrant community which was supportive of each other, no matter what club or what gym sport. A community that went beyond state lines and simply celebrated our sport, putting our participants first. I also wanted to acknowledge and thank the GA events team who put together an incredible three weeks of competition. Now, since my last update, we've made some significant progress on our new education framework. We've had great response from community and we've had various opportunities for consultation. I've said it before and I will continue to say it, it is only with your voice that we can develop a true fit for purpose coach education module that supports you and what you want and what you need to achieve. The feedback we've received to date has told us that you want a coach development framework which is valued by coaches and clubs because of its accessibility, its flexibility and the positive impact it has on our participants. A framework which allows coaches to coach independently once they've demonstrated relevant competencies and not just based on how many hours or face-to-face -face courses or exams that you have done. And of course, a framework which is affordable. Now the next steps in the project will um, condense all the feedback that we've received prior to commencing work on developing the training materials. We will continue to keep you updated on the progress of this project. We're looking for piloting in January 23 and a transition to the new framework for March 23. You will expect a more concrete framework release at the end of October. Now in my next update, what you'll hear from is about what the future looks like for gymnastics in Australia, the priorities and what we do in the years ahead. I'm always keen to hear from you. Hopefully you all know that by now. Please feel free to reach out to me anytime directly. Thank you again for your ongoing support and have a great day.